without a doubt, Active Directory offers some advantages for maintaining an organization infrastructure. In addition to offering administrators centralized management, it offers bad guys a potential gift that is the user hashes. This information is stored in a database called ntds.net. This specific file is locked on running domain controllers, so you can't simply copy it. In this demo, I will use Kali Linux to gather user hashes. A word of caution here, folks. Never attend this on a network where you don't have the permission to do it. Before we start, I assume that you got an administrator account credentials from your client, or else it won't work. In this demo, I will use a tool called SMB Exec. This application is made to grab the sys reg keys and ntds.dat file using the shadow copy functionality. First, let's download the SMB exec application using the git clone from the terminal window. After the installation is complete, change to the new installed directory and install it using the install command. In this screen, choose the number one option for Kali Linux distribution. After that, accept the default option to install it to the opt folder. It will take a while so that all the appropriate modules are installed on your machine. Perfect. Let's execute this nasty application. In the new installed directory, execute the smbexec.rb file. Select the option number 3 to obtain the hashes. Because you are attacking the domain controller, choose number 1. Now it's asking you for the server IP address. In my case, the Windows server IP address is 192.168.0.200. Next, enter the username and password that you got from your client. Also, you need to supply the domain name of that server. Finally, you need to specify the system drive letter. Let's wait for the magic to happen. Zero hashes done. Oops, there is something going wrong here. Let's check this file and see what's inside. The file is empty. It means that something wrong happened for sure. Well, folks, that's why I'm here. To teach you how to overcome such situations. Let's dig deeper into this. If I open the IP address folder, we can see that the sys file and the ntds.dit file exist. Hmm. My guess is that the application was not able to extract the users from these files. I'll open the dsusers.txt and check it out. Ho ho ho. Error. Sys hive not specified. From my past experience, I know that the application responsible for this is called NTDS extract and SMB exec use it to extract the users from the database files. Folks, there is a bug in the SMB exec application and we will fix it together. Follow me. Let's close this file first and go back to the root directory of the SMB exec. I know that all the source code is in the lib directory, then in the modules, and our candidate should be in the hash dump folder. Because we're attacking the domain controller, all the source code responsible for this should be inside this file hash esdc.rb. So let's open it and analyze it. Here at the line number 237, we can see 
where this application is calling the DS users command. All right, now I see the problem. The programmer is using the old way to execute the DS users command. So let's fix it. First, we need to add the working directory as a third parameter. The working directory is the variable local drop. So I'm going to paste it as a third argument. After that, we need to specify the syshive argument, which is the path to the sys file. So I'm going to copy it from here and paste it after the syshive argument. And we don't need those after the password hashes and the password history too. From my point of view, this should be a good command with zero bugs. Let's test it and see if it works. I will close this window and try to re-execute the SMB exec. A quick tip in Kali Linux, if you want to execute a console command from a GUI directory, go to the file menu and click open in terminal. And here we go, we're inside. So let's do it again. Three for obtain hashes, one for domain controller, the IP address, the credentials, the domain name, and the drive letters. Ho, ho, ho. We just fixed a major issue in this application. Check this out. At this moment, we have six hashes dumped. So let's check again the log folder open the domain controller dump. All right, that's what we need, folks. Close this, open the IP address folder, and let's open the DS users file this time. Information from the domain controller itself. We just hacked the Windows domain controller successfully.